Hello, so you feel you don't fit in, or you feel like an outsider. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how you don't fit in, and then why you don't fit in. But then I've got some really exciting stuff, some absolute game changers that I think will make you see your life completely differently. So stay with me. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Hello, my name is Sheridan Coldstream. I'm a voice and confidence coach and this channel is dedicated to helping people feel better about themselves. And if you like the material and like this video, please give it a like, comment below. I love to hear your comments so I can feed back to you as well and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Today's video is about not fitting in. So you feel you don't fit in, you feel like an outsider. I wanna talk about how we feel that, why we feel that, and also what we can do about it as we go through the rest of our lives. So how do we feel like an outsider? Well, I think one of the best examples for many, many people is at school, in our school days, whether this is something you're still doing or something that's in your past. And I think it's very easy not to feel like one of the cool kids, to feel that everyone's better than we are. And what we start doing is we make negative comparisons. We look at people who are perhaps good at the things that we're not good at. So for me, that was on the sports field. I look at all these really cool lads who are fantastic at football. And then there was little weirdo here who was into his music and drama and wanted to go and sit in the music room and write songs and everybody else was playing football and they were kind of cool and I was a kind of nutcase. Uh, and that was never a good thing. And then we start to feel like an oddity, like the outsider, like a weirdo. And as I say, like we don't fit in. But looking at school in a more general sense, look at the education system of today. The education system is one way of measuring people's intelligence. And the way we do that is we go to school, we learn various subjects, we then pick those we're supposedly best at, and we do exams in these subjects and our intelligence is then graded by a series of marks and we do GCSEs, then we do A-levels, we may go on to do a degree at university. And this is one way uh, of measuring people's success, uh, of their abilities, uh, and as I say, their intelligence. But there are so many people, maybe this is you, who don't fit into that box, to that status quo, because it's always been like that. And therefore, if you're not an exam person, if you're not very good at absorbing the information that doesn't interest you, I think this is so many, many people. If it's a subject you're interested in, you absorb it, you learn. But if it's stuff that isn't really your thing, you just go off on one and you're brain disappears and you can't focus and learn those subjects. And I think therefore we end up feeling stupid, we feel thick, we think we're not intelligent, and we think that really the only people who are intelligent or academic are those for whom the school system does work. Well, I think it's really important to realise that actually that it does only work for one type of learner. And that for many people, we discover our, our true worth, our self-worth, our ability, our intelligence, and even our academic abilities, we discover that in a different way. And ultimately, I wanna help you today discover the power of being individual, of being the outsider, of feeling you don't fit in. There are so many ways of not feeling we fit in. And this, of course, comes from an early age and it goes right into adulthood. And we get to the point where maybe we can walk into a room full of people uh, and assume that they're somehow probably talking about us, which, of course, feeds our insecurity. So and so on and so forth. So there are so many ways of feeling like the outsider. That's how we feel it. Why do we feel we don't fit in? Why do we feel like the outsider? Well, back to childhood again. Our brains are forming from the second we are born. For the first seven years of our lives, your brain is being programmed, your subconscious mind is being programmed with the stuff that if you're not careful, will affect and dictate how you behave, how you perceive and how you believe for the rest of your life. Your subconscious mind is being programmed. A large chunk of that happens before your first memory. So from the age of zero to two, you are being fed stuff that you have no recollection of, that to this day, if you're not careful, will be dictating how you behave. So if you've come from a troubled background, if you've come from a family where maybe you weren't shown enough love, maybe you've come from a, a background that just for whatever reason had its own challenges, you will have formed your identity, your belief, 
about who you are based on those things. And that forms an insecurity. It becomes your filter through which you filter everything that happens in life to you. So that's that's really unhelpful. So we feel uncomfortable, we feel underconfident. So if we also, on top of that, feel a bit different, like an outsider, a bit of a weirdo, then this all contributes to why we don't feel uh, deserving of success. We spend our lives treading on eggshells, trying to keep everybody happy because we're desperately trying to fit in and conform and be like everybody else and follow the trends and all that stuff that actually can be incredibly unhelpful. These days it's also fed to us hugely uh, by the likes of social media where people parade their perfect lives or if I'm being a bit more cynical, their fake perfect lives for all of us to see. So we see these perfect bodies, these perfect relationships, these perfect holidays and we look at our our deeply imperfect lives and we think, oh, oh, why, why can't I be like that? And is this how I'm meant to be? And why do I feel like the outsider? Oh, I'm such a, why don't I fit in? So all these things contribute and they don't make us feel great. And we see not fitting in as being a negative. We, we, we see being the outsider as just being a bit of a loser really. And it's all incredibly unhelpful to our mental health and our general state of mind. Right, that's the negatives done. Let's talk about the positives, because here's the truth. And now I'm gonna give you some real game changers. I believe firmly that if you feel you don't fit in, if you feel like an outsider, if you feel a bit of a weirdo, then guys, it's time to celebrate. Because I firmly believe that the people who feel they don't fit in are the ones who are not conforming to the status quo. They're not the ones who are happy to tick those boxes. And in fact, you are the most creative and the most inventive people out there. And your role, your mission in life is to celebrate that and enjoy the uniqueness that is you. And better than that, help other people break out of the shackles of convention, break out of status quo, break out of, of, of measuring their own lives by this kind of boring system that's in place and has always been in place and really knowing that you can be you. So now we come to the exciting bit. Let's talk about how we can make being an outsider, not fitting in, feeling like the weirdo, work for you. Well, the first thing is to recognise that the little voice in your head, those intrusive thoughts that tell you you're not good enough, that you're a failure, that you're falling short, that everyone is doing better than you are, that you are meant to fit into this education system, that you are meant to follow the normal route, that you are meant to get a degree, you're meant to get this job, that job. Just let all that go and realise, because that little voice in your head has got nothing to do with who you really are. The fact you're an outsider, the fact you don't fit in is something to celebrate. That makes you exceptional. And then what we can do is celebrate that feeling. I often say to people, work out what defines you and then spend five or even 10 years how you can do that for a living. Then you will have the luxury, the joy, and I'm blessed to say this is how I feel, that you can be you for a living. And if you're you for a living, you will be being unique, you will be not fitting in, you will be an outsider, you will be celebrating, and also you will be doing what defines you and earning your living doing that. That is very fulfilling, uh, very stimulating, very exciting. And also you then find you are literally helping other people get out of those boxes and no longer needing to conform to the status quo. So that, that's incredibly exciting. So the little voice in your head is not you. Those intrusive thoughts that come in, they're so scary. We all have them. Everyone's got skeletons in the closet. Everyone's got uh, things they feel bad about, things they wish they hadn't said, ways they wish they'd behaved differently. Let all that go, forgive yourself, but accept your individuality. Know that a power greater than you is on your side, whether you call that God or the universe or just a power bigger than your understanding. Accept that this is what is meant to be. Be empowered, be you. Bring on the weirdo. And that's all I want to say on this. Once again, if you're enjoying this content, I would love to hear your comments below. And please subscribe so you don't miss further videos like this. 
and hit that notification bell. It's been lovely talking to you. Be you, bring on the weirdo, and I'll see you soon. Ba, 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 ba.